Hey guys, it's uh, Saturday night and let's review some magic. This is Ivan, the MTG completionist. We're not partying. We are going over Apocalypse today. Um, and this is another pretty cool set that I was asked to review just recently. Um, I'm really happy I started this channel. Um, or at least restarted doing this series recently. I I really love showing um, my collection and the cards that took me so long to put together. So uh, thanks for sticking around and looking at them with me. This is a pretty old set from 2001 and getting these old sets completed in foil is always a whole ordeal. One of our first iconic characters, let me just make sure that I have the angle up on here. Yep. Uh, this is Gerard. There. Jared Kapashin, who uh, sacrificed himself to uh, kill one of the other legends. I wish I remembered all the lore. But I loved reading it at the time, and I love the lore brarians and lore historians and like all the, the stories on the ether hub um and and um and again just watching the art on these cards i'm sure as we scroll i'll find some cards that i played with at the time index of course is one of them and that was highly played coastal drake my sister and i we just love them drakes and dragons so we had uh, we had a binder with just drakes and dragons when we uh, when I was making when we were making our collection at the beginning and uh, yep I mean for yep whirlpool Drake here we go just the art on them is really magical to me um, who, is there anyone else that collects um, all sets, every versions, you know, regular, foil, alternate arts, um, like a master set. I just did a video on it, I think yesterday. Yep, yesterday. Hmm. Whirlpool Warrior. Oh, this was when they had the weird two color dynamics. Desolation Angel. Wow. Look at the art on this thing. Can you see very clearly? It's wild. It's like, you know, th this was before the, uh, way before Ravnica and, uh, and having these, these multicolor colors, uh, cards um, was kind of wild. And, uh, and we see, we'll see the foil treatment on on a lot of, uh, on a few of these cards for multicolors, which is also stunning. I, I miss those, the old foiling. They've, they're trying to redo that now, but with their old frame foils, but it, it doesn't do the same thing. Phyrexian Arena, probably the, I think the most expensive card this set. Gorgeous art by Pete Venters. Yeah, it's a pretty clean card. An audience of one with the malice of thousands. It seems like uh, Gerard is uh, killing Urza or Mishra. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure, but if I had to guess, that's those are the two characters I would point out there. More Phyrexia, Phyrexian Rager, Planar Despair. Please let me know also if you'd like me to be more knowledgeable about the sets. I can do a little more research beforehand. Well, I can do a little research beforehand um, or read more about stuff. Otherwise, I, I kind of also enjoy just going over them after not looking at them for um, for months or, or longer sometimes and rediscovering them with you, which is also which is equally fun to me. So I'm, I'm very happy to bring about some knowledge that I that uh, that I also find out and share that on the videos, or or go over them with you. Wild research. This is some pretty fun art. 
with that weird dude scrambling through all his papers. Can you see well? This is also a, another very small set, just 143 cards. Kavu. Did some of you guys have Kavu decks? For me, with squirrels, I um, I went pretty big on squirrels during um, squirrels were I squirrels and goblins were were probably my first uh, tribe decks. Even though I love dragons and drakes, I never made a deck for them. I am considering doing that now. Actually, I I'd like to make a commander uh, commander dragons deck, probably uh, Ur Dragon. I think. Symbiotic deployment. What is this? Skip your draw step, tub two and type creatures, draw a card. I guess if you have a million tokens or stuff like that. Urborg Elf. I have two. Have fun. Uh, this to me kind of reminds me of, um, well, obviously not as good as um, Exalted Noble, what's it called? Noble High Arc. The Noble High Arc would exalted from Alara first printing, where it's, I think, for one, a one, one that also adds three mana. Here it's for two, a one, one that adds three mana and doesn't have exalted. But this was the first one. Penumbra Worm. Any, any big creature at the time was really impressive and amazing to play. Because um, because there was much less removal, so big creatures were the sh the shiz the shiz for a long time, and uh, this one is cool because it gets it's a six six with trample for seven that gets you two creatures, and back then that was pretty epic. Aha! There we go. Look at these gorgeous multicolor foils. I hope you can see clearly. It's nighttime now, so. I hope it doesn't reflect too bad. Look at Chromat. Look at this bad boy. Five colors and all these abilities, which I will not read you as you can see from here, the text. It's really cool. Beautiful, iconic creature. I have no idea what it is. It's like a ginormous butterfly thing. Donato Giancola, you did amazing art, my friend. Bourbon Charge is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes, these as well. So this is the pre-release, and it's in, uh, it's in Sanskrit or Indian. Maybe in, in uh, it may be Hindu. I'm not sure. So this is the regular art foil, and there we go. And this is the Indian language. Maybe Sanskrit, I believe. For the 26th of May, 01, that's when this set was pre-released. It's really fun. And these are these are just beautiful. They did a few of them in weird, well, different languages that they never did um, MTG in. Like there's there's one in Latin. I think there's uh I think there's one in Arabic as well. And uh you know what, I'll find them and then I'll show you because I'm I'm sure I have them in, in some of the sets when they came out. Last Stand, another five color card, which is pretty epic. And the Lightning Angel, they're just beautiful. They're really, really nice to look at. I, I miss this kind of pop and and cards that uh, that we really don't have today. Today the foiling is, is terrible. There's, there's no two ways around it. They, they, they made foils cheap, which, I mean, is, everything can be cheap. It's not a problem, but but make it look pretty then or put some kind of effort in it. Mystic Snake, this was also big trouble if you play that index, at least for me, because I, I never thought of counters and this would counter everything. And Pernicious Deed, which is another iconic and special card in the set, which has been reprinted. Yog Moth. Freyalee's whispered as she set the tomb. Now you will pay for your treachery. 
the Lord just does it for me every time. Do we have the lands in this set is my question. We shall find out. Spirit Monger, he was probably the coolest card that set that I remember. Vindicate is, uh, is one of the few um, removals. And is this, I think this is the first, no, maybe Invasion. Was it Invasion before or was this before? I believe it was a big set first. So I'm going to say that Invasion came first. And so those were the first time we saw two cards on them. Remember? Fire and Ice, like this. All right, aha, uh -huh. we do have the lands. I hope that it's easy and clear to see with the light. Legacy weapon. This is absolutely stunning. Hey, Bubbles, what's up? Legacy weapon, which is also five colors. And then these gorgeous lands. And one of them is signed. We just went for a walk. Why are we crying now? I don't know. But yeah, this is one of the few signed cards I have by Rob Alexander. It's not in, in perfect condition, but it's, it's a solid light play. And there we go. So we just went over this gorgeous apocalypse set and foil. I'd love to know what are your favorite cards? Uh, what set do you want to see next? There are plenty, otherwise I'm, I'm gonna just start going random. Um, I'd like to go over some of the old ones that I haven't gone through in a while. Um, and then we can go very old, we can go very new. You guys choose, so let me know. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great night.